with respect to the placement of information describing the Luchot into the narrative of Shmot 32 as a parenthetical statement rather than in Shmot 31 where this information actually belongs is addressed by the Ramban who reads a human condition into the storyline and notes that Moshe was faced with a clash of values. On the one hand, he had been given the Luchot by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, knowing full well that the nation had become embroiled in some form of Avodah Zarah, a violation of the Aseret HaDibrat. Yet on the other hand, as he now comes face to face with the Egel, he feels that it is a contradiction in terms for him to present the very document that is the source for a prohibition against Avodah Zarah to a people who are actively involved in its violation. The Ramban writes, Aval his kiru bekan latan. The Torah speaks about the speciality of the Luchot that they were Masa Elokim, and that information has been inserted here in Shmot 32, Lomar, to inform us that Lo Limna Moshe that despite the great levels of Kedusha inherent in the Luchot, he nevertheless decided to smash them. Because as he was confronted with this evil act from the people, his anger flared. Moshe was not able to restrain himself. His emotions took the better of him, and Tam Tahar. He smashes them at the foot of the mountain. So if the question is asked, by what right did Moshe smash the Luchot? It appears from the Ramban that this was an emotional rather than an intellectual response to seeing the people dancing around the Egel. Not good enough, argues the Rabbeinu Bachayet. Is it possible that Moshe, who was the Evet Hashem, faithful servant of God, to take upon himself to smash the Luchot that were written by the hand of God? And if Yisrael chatu v'lo hayo re'uyim el ha-Torah, to the point where they would not be worthy of receiving the Torah, then haya lo l'achzir ha-Torah l'achsan yeshalah. Then Moshe should have turned around, returned the Luchot back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, u'levakesh me'et HaKadosh Baruch Hu ma'ya ha-seba, and ask God what he wants done with these Luchot. A very logical and down-to-earth argument. Ilu melech basav adam shalech tavo chatum, the Sari HaMalchut, were we to have a situation where a king sends a proclamation to the various governors throughout his kingdom, and this proclamation is entrusted to a faithful messenger, they refuse to accept this document from the king, then the appropriate thing for the Eved to do would be to return the document back to the king. Not as Moshe Rabbeinu did in this case, to treat the document with contempt by tearing it up, as Moshe had done with his smashing of the Luchot. And with this, the Rabbeinu Bechaya rejects the Ramban's explanation for linking this information to Shmot 32, because by arguing that the placement underscores Moshe's willingness to not tolerate a desecration of God's name, a Echilu Hashem, by the very same token, by not returning the Luchot back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he has done exactly that.